When it comes to the app design, we won't go very deep and keep it simple. Here are things that we are going to cover. So we're going to talk about the general design settings, changing your menu type, designing an app icon, splash screen, and the menu background. We'll use Canva for our purposes, so we'll keep it really simple. Now let's go back to our control panel and see how all these things are working together. Welcome to our App Builders training. In this section, we'll talk about the app design. So let me walk you through how to make an app design and all the aspects related to the outlooks of your app. When you're in your dashboard, you'll see there's a button named Change Template. So let's click here and try to change our template. We have created a lot of templates for you to use. So the easiest way of changing your app's outlook is to change a template. So let's have a look at the templates and how to change it. Our example is Mobile Roller Academy app. So in this case, I'll choose the Education tab. So my template has been changed, which means, except for my logo, everything has changed. Since you know how to change your template now, we can go ahead and click on the Appearance tab and see what's in there. As you see, we have the general settings and the menu settings. So let's start with the general settings and let's see what's inside of it. In general settings, not all of the things are design related. But still, let's go through. So you can change your font, font size, list item font sizes, the loading animation of your app, loading animation color, and app exit confirmation. You can also change other colors like the navigation bar color, text color, list item text color. This is also the place to change your splash image list item background, and default background image. So there is nothing complicated about here. Let's save this and move on. So you can change your menu type here. Think carefully what your end purpose is and choose a menu type according to your needs. Currently, you have four options in Mobile Roller. Classic menu, sliding menu, list menu, and extended menu. This is how the classic menu looks like. This is how the sliding menu looks like. We have actually two sliding menus. This is how the list menu is looking like. And when it comes to the extended menu, you have many options. When choosing your menu, you shouldn't be purely thinking of your own taste. You should be also thinking about your user's experience. So think about how to present your content the best way possible. The menu type is going to accomplish that. So let's choose the classic menu and see what's happening. So now I need to choose a menu background. As you can see, this is going to be the background in your main menu. So let's change the menu type, this time to the sliding menu. When you do that, there won't be the menu background anymore, but the opacity. So let's change the menu type again. This time, we are choosing the list menu. And once we do that, there comes back the menu background again. So you should choose a menu background 
Also, you have the menu item background option this time. So, the menu item background is the background of each cell in, in your menu. So, these little ones, the background of those. So let's change our menu type for the last time to extended menu. So when you choose the extended menu, you will need to choose the menu background as well as the menu item background. Simple as that. Now that we are familiar with the appearance tab, let's talk about the images that we're going to create for our custom app design. So to start with, we have the app icon. You can click here and change it. You can see the dimensions and the formats. The second one, we have the menu background. And the last item that we're going to work on is in the general settings. Our last item is the splash image. We will be creating that in Canva in a bit. So let's continue with the creation of those images and then we'll come back here and finalize the look of our app. Let's create an app icon using Canva. I'll show you step by step how to do it. And you will love this. After seeing how easy it is to make an app logo for yourself, you'll be surprised. First up, click on create a design. And from here, we'll find the logo. Remember that we are making an app icon. We are not creating a brand logo. So we need to keep it really simple. When your users download your app, they're going to click on this icon to move to your app. So that's why let's create something very simple so that they can easily reach out to your app. Here we have some templates that we can use. And I think we could use this one. So what I will do is actually getting rid of this one and write an M instead of a B and change this. to M. So we can make this a little bit bigger. I'll put this right in the middle and then take this academy. So the background color already matches my brand. So there's no problem with that. Now, remember, that this is a 500 by 500 logo. So I need to change that to 1024, 2024. So I'll go to the file and change the dimensions. Use custom dimensions and get myself an app icon. So click on resize. So now my logo is created. So let's name it Mod 
Mirror Academy app icon. And then we can download it. Let's continue by creating our splash image. Our dimensions are here. First thing I want to do is to add a logo of Movie Roller. I previously uploaded it here, so just click on it and here it is. I'll place my logo somewhere here. That looks nice. Then I'll go ahead and add some text. And that's going to be a heading. So I edit my text, I have my logo, and to me it looks pretty okay. So I'll just name this. Now I can download it. And later on, I'll use this in my mobile order control panel. And I have my splash screen ready. Let's move on to the menu background right away. Since it's the same size, actually, I don't need to do anything. What I'll do here is I'll just take our logo out. And this can stay here a little bit on top. Maybe what I want to do is I'll add something like a line so that we can see the separation. So something like this. So it's going to look something like this. Now that I created all the three images and downloaded them, I can go back to my mobile order control panel and start uploading them. Let's have a look at my logo. Let's check out the splash screen. And finally, let's have a look at the main background. We have come to the end of this session of our training, and I tried to show you how to make an app design. See you in the next part.